Hello and welcome back to the channel and um, today I am making quite a big milestone so I've got my army up to 60.4 and I've got my uh, our air force up to 60 and my navy up to 50, uh, 60 I'm going to attack this country here Shemba France which has a total of 10 army and that leaves my army on 50.4 and all the rest of my army is on uh, uh, 60 still. And that's important because, because of what happens now. Because I have just got an ICBM. Okay, so 297. So what country am I going to attack? Um, I could attack France. Yeah, why not? Let's attack France. Uh, actually, no, I need to get the ICBM first. Okay, so 243. 243. Select country. Let's go down. F. Have I missed it already? Oh, it's not in alphabet order. Okay. I'll be back once I've found it. Oh no, there it is. Okay, why is it going for my American base? Okay, it's going to like explode France. Oh, there's a plane. There we go. Okay. Here we go, the armor strength reduced to 48, 49, let's attack them, let's go, okay, let's just see ICBM report, oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, I actually um helped the friendly rebels with uh, the religious one, the bottom one, top one, sorry, although they're gone now, okay, this is good, this is good, here we go, Oh, and France has a lot of um, economy stuff, like just as much as um, my place, England. Okay, so now I can build everyone back up. So let's do that. Oh, I'm at money. So now I'm actually going to go straight back to conquering. And since I've actually destroyed France, all these are now free. No one owns these places anymore. So I could actually attack Senegal now, since there's no French troops there. That would make a lot more sense than uh, attacking this country here, which is ruled by Germany. Yep, so I've just won Senegal. This is good. Wait, one. Yeah, I think it's one. Uh, army here. Okay, that's quite a tough country. About here, five and six. That makes a total of eleven. How much do I have? I have enough for a decent. I have enough for four, so I'm going to attack four slightly smaller countries then. So Liberia is one, and. This one's another, Togo. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's invade Togo. Then I can invade Ghana, which has 10, yeah. Okay, there we go. Then let's invade, it's not Ghana, sorry. Burkin Faso, if that's how you pronounce it. So that's, oh, I've won. Nice. Uh, in Japan, Yarn cotton is at a reduced price. Let's go over to Japan then. All the way over here. And I am aware I could have just um, gone into satellite mode and just gone like that. Just, yeah, I forgot. And actually, while I'm here, let's go back over to Africa after getting that, getting that plane out of the sky. And there's, oh my wow, so many countries are independent now. Just because I knocked out France. Anyway, the point was I could max out these economies while I'm here 
and then go back and do the trading whilst making more money. Because I'm now making 24 a second. I was making, I'm pretty sure, 14 a second at the start. Okay, so yarns are... There we go. I've got 47 yarns. Now I'm going to pause this recording until I find a place that sells yarn for quite expensive. So I'll be back in a minute. Haven't found it yet, but rebels are about to attack Iceland apparently. But I've got military there. Okay, Albania is under attack. So let's go to Albania here. I'm never really good at finding countries. What's this one? Guinea Bissau. What's this one? Guinea. Okay. Yeah, I'm really bad at this. I'm I'm just gonna use this. Oh, it's in Europe, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I'm not really good at... I'm not that good at geography. Obviously, I know the main countries in Europe and stuff, but yeah. I'm not very good at recognising smaller ones. Finally, after looking at every, literally every port in the world besides out America, uh, through the US, I finally found it, so let's sell it. I made a profit of 2,350. That's good profit. Oh, wow, and it took me so long. But I'm on a 12,000. Well, you know what I'm going to spend that on? Let's rebuild all my militaries. Up to at least 50. Navy, there we go. Now at 50. So where am I going to attack now? Well, I'm tempted to attack... Like Belgium, actually they got 60. Same with the Netherlands. I want to attack somewhere like quite important, but with not too much military. So maybe somewhere in Europe? Wait, Hungary? Ah, so all these countries are in by Hungary. Hungary's not that defended. Wait, 20, uh, 44 in total. Plus 35. So I could theoretically, after taking this country here, uh, Croatia, I could theoretically then just build my army up straight away for attacking Hungary. And that would weaken Slovakia, which would be good for me for invading. How many countries were am I? 15. Okay. From, uh, basically, that's from another OCBM. Because they're very powerful, as you saw. Okay, this one's got two. There we go. So what's my military at now? 10. That's bad. Okay, so I have enough to beat them now. So, uh, let's go back and take Hungary. Uh, wait. I can feel my air force is at... I was really worried then. That my air force wasn't at sufficient power to take him... Uh, to take them. Sorry, I'm struggling to speak today as usual. That's always my excuse, but yeah. Is anyone I'm recording? There we go. Okay, and what's this? Just a war report. Okay. There we go. So my, my power is growing, as is my territory. And I want to go next for Bosnia, Pergas, I can't pronounce that. So let's just do this. And let's go straight back and attack them. How far am I into the video? Nine minutes. Okay, I'll stop after this attack. Basically, by securing, if this was real, by securing this ocean here, I'm not sure what this bit's called actually. I would have probably broken some treaty or something. Uh, okay, so as I said, I'm ending the video now. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!